it's Teresa and I'm here to offer you advice on a guide about not caring about what other people think. You're always gonna have negative energy coming from one side and positive energy from the other and it's important to focus on the positives instead of the negatives and the people that bring us down and make us feel like less. Some people are always going to retaliate and tell you negative things only because they're unhappy with their own lives. So they think by spreading negative comments your way, it will make them feel better. But really it's just them lashing out and they're the ones that need help. You need to rise above that and inhale the positivity. So I'm here to give you eight steps on how to not care what others think of you. Number one, realize the majority of the time the negative comments someone makes is about them and not about you. So I think that this is very important because people out on the internet can be there to criticize and only make you feel like less. And if someone ends up stating that you're really terrible, it's something that you're actually really good at, they're probably jealous and they're using this anger against you to make themselves feel like they're more than you. When really you have to realize that even though that person might not be happy with their situation and with what you're receiving and your talents are, you just have to understand that it's their sort of immaturity and they don't actually care about you, they just care about themselves. Number two, be true to yourself. Now I find that this is really important because there's always going to be haters. Always, always, always. And you can't really get around that. That's just a part of life basically. And it's really important to stay true to who you are and to shine through with your best qualities and be the best version of yourself that you can be. Because there's always going to be people out there that might want you to try to fit in with them or society in general will just want you to fit in with their standards and follow their trends. When in all honesty, you shouldn't care what other people think about. If you're comfortable dressing the way you dress, then you do that. It's all about confidence in the way that you carry yourself. And if someone has something negative to say about the way that you look or the way that you choose to dress, they can go walk home and, you know, forget about being your friend because what kind of person does that? A mean person. And we don't need those negative vibes in our lives. Never conform to their standards to please them. Do what you have to do to please you. Number three, realize that this is your life and there are no do-overs. So let's face the reality. You only have one life. You're not a cat that has nine lives, even though does a cat really have nine lives? But back to what I'm talking about. Even though we're imperfect as human beings, we all make mistakes we can rise above that and we can fix them. We have the choice and the ability to do that and to do better. And it's about taking constructive criticism from someone. If you feel like you're getting a negative comment, such as maybe you're a really good singer and you have a vocal coach and they tell you you're doing really well, but you need to belt a note a different way or use more of a breath or something. They're giving you constructive criticism. They're not criticizing you. They're doing this because they care and they want the best for you. And people like that are really important. People always have opinions and a lot of them are going to be different, but that shouldn't deter you from being the best version of yourself. You need to do what's best for yourself because you're living your own life. You're not living Betsy's life, Johnny's life, Jimmy's life. You're living your life. Four, really think about the absolute worst case scenario. So let's just say, just because Jim thinks you're a fool and your life is a sham doesn't mean the world is over. That is just one person's blalant opinion out in the world of many people. You know, Jim is not the only person out there. There are millions and billions of people and his opinion shouldn't get to you. 
An absolute worst case scenario could be the president saying, You suck. You. Suck. Now that would be horrible. What if, what if the president said that to you? That would probably make me feel pretty horrible because, you know, he's the president of the United States and so many people look up to him. But that won't happen to you. The president has not said you suck. I'm sure he thinks you would be great. So just remember that everything's gonna be okay. Five, analyze the things in life that really matter. You have friends and a family that love and support you, and the friends you've made throughout your life are the ones that really care, the ones that really want what's right for you. They're the ones that appreciate you as a person. And it's funny to think about because the friends that you've made throughout your life, you've gotten to know, and you've made the efforts of being their friend, and they see what's good in you, and maybe they'll give you some comments, but more than likely if they're true friends, they won't be negative. And if some people don't think you're as great as others perceive you to be, then fine. It's honestly impossible to get along with every single person you meet. Six, remove sources of negativity immediately. A friend constantly gossips or talks behind your back? People are commenting negative things on your Instagram or Facebook post? Block the people who give you negative vibes. You don't have to comment back and build onto the fire. You can just cease the fire and just make everything go away. And the person who started it shouldn't care because they're the ones leaving the negative things. So they must not really like you. So if you cut them out of your life, then it shouldn't matter and everything should be solved and fine and dandy as long as you don't let it affect you. And if someone in your life you thought was your friend turns sour, confront them with how you feel and if they continue to talk behind your back or be nasty to you, then you don't need them in your life. And that's okay, it happens. It's important to stand up for yourself in situations like that because if you don't, it can lead to deeper problems that have a lot more depth and that are a lot scarier, such as mental illnesses, such as anxiety and depression. So it's important to speak up and let others know how you feel. Seven, have a few people's opinions that you trust and forget the rest. As stated before, it's good to be supported by certain opinions, but not necessarily from strangers or people that you've just met. They don't know you as a person like your friends know you. They aren't in the right to judge you as a good friend might. So if someone, for instance, says, you're fat, just brush it off. They just like to create chaos in the world. Trust me, I'm sure they meant to say that you're fat. Eight, some people are going to dislike you and there's nothing you can do about it. Again, not everyone can be your friend. Certain people get along and certain people don't. That's just the way of life. Don't let this discourage you or bring you down. The world is too vast and too full of so many people that just a handful of people shouldn't be the ones to make you feel like less. And this goes out to all the people that needed this, that needed to hear something like this. You are worth a whole heck of a lot, and you shouldn't care what others say all the time. A person's opinion is not what will destroy your world. You need to listen to yourself. Be open to constructive criticism, but don't let the degrading comments get to you. Be the best version of yourself that you can be, and nothing else should matter. Just thought I'd put that message out there because actually I needed to hear that this week. Posting videos on YouTube is a lot of fun, but it's also very scary because you never know what kind of feedback you're going to get. And I'm not saying that I'm scared at all, but it's just you're putting yourself out there and you're hoping that people might like you, strangers that you've never met. And sometimes you have to turn the other way if they don't like something they see or they tell you something nasty. You just have to kind of keep going along the path that you want to go and you need to listen to yourself because you'll know. You'll know what the right thing is to do for yourself. So anyone out there that's feeling like other people are pressuring them and they feel upset because people think certain things of them, 
don't. It's not worth it. And it's gonna be okay.